Hey, what up Long Beach? Welcome back to the 562.org. It's Mike. This track and field highlight is brought to you by Naples Rib Company, the perfect place to cater your team's next event. Back at Elko for the second straight week for the CIF Southern Section Masters Meet. Just a reminder, we're here covering the Long Beach kids. They're running in 16 of the 20 events. Top six in each event go to state. We're going to start on the field at the high jump where Rachel Glenn, not very much trouble clearing five foot four, LOL. Glenn, already the champion here, jumping alone at 5'8", and she's going to get it on her third attempt. The defending state champion wins the city's first gold medal of the day before anyone was even out on the track running, and she is headed to Clovis for the state meet to try and defend her state championship. Yup, brush the dirt off, take a little bit of a bow. We go to the long jump pit where St. Anthony sophomore Asia Atkinson wants all 19 feet two and a quarter there. She advances with a third place finish. Sophomore really showing us something at the Masters meet. Queen Oko from Long Beach Poly had a great day on the track, but came up a little bit short in the pit, finishing eighth just two spots away from Clovis. Sophomore Cherish Washington from Lakewood had a day to cherish. She was eighth in the shot put, but she advances in the discus with a fifth place finish. That's huge for the sophomore. Speaking of the Oko sisters, Poly sophomore Destiny Oko finishes 12th in the shot put, but a lot to build on after a great sophomore season. Alan Tabalas is going to miss on this one, but he would clear 6'4 to finish 11th and advance to the state meet as the first Ram to clinch his spot going to Clovis. Now, to the running events. Long Beach Poly girls 4x1 running without Jeanne Woods, who is out the rest of the season with an injury. Jackrabbits opening up with the freshman Lolo Reed is going to hand off to Sandrea Martin, who has just been a revelation this postseason, getting better every week. And you see a great backstretch leg for Martin. She's going to hand it off to Oko. And the queen is running the curve with ease. That Polly Roosevelt relay action in Clovis is going to be a lot of fun. Oko is handing it here to Sarah Ayer. Ayer. The junior, two underclassmen on this Jackrabbit squad, which is going to go on to win Masters Gold with a time of 46.70. Jackrabbit's loaded in the relays. Something always happens that's weird at the Masters meet, though, and they wanted to make sure all four of those relays actually got to the state meet this year. That quartet fired up as they should be, and they're going to Clovis. We go to the boys 4x100. This is not going to be their smoothest as we start off here with D'Angelo Chester. Running the first curve is going to hand it off to Kenyon Reed. We always call this the football relay because this is where you see all of the receivers and DBs out getting their work in. And on the field right now, across all the lanes, there are indeed a lot of gridiron guys. Anthony Johnson running the second curve for the Jackrabbits. You see, this thing is tight. Keon Markham takes off a little bit early, but he gets it, and he is in a real foot race. You see these guys going stride for stride down the home stretch. Markham is going to get it by one one hundredth of a second. Jackrabbit's number one team in the country in this event. They'll be number one going to Clovis as well. We go to the girls 100 hurdles. We've got St. Anthony sophomore Asia Atkinson running alongside Rachel Glenn from Wilson. Atkinson again, the super sophomore, she's going to run away with this thing. 14.08 from Atkinson. You see her over each hurdle before anybody else. She walks it in. Glenn, third, 14.32. So two of the top three girls coming out of Southern California, both representing the city of Long Beach. We go to the boys 110. Liam Anderson's going to have to sweat this one out. Not the best start he's had to this race, but Anderson has just been a grinder this year, and he's going to finish sixth in 1467. He's going to Clovis as well. Anderson did not make it out of CIF prelims last year, but is trying to qualify in both hurdles events for the state meet. We go to maybe the biggest result of the day, the girls 400. Milliken freshman, freshman Samara Monroy facing some big time competition as always when you run the quarter mile at the Masters meet, 
but she is absolutely fearless. She is leaving it all out there. I thought maybe she was going out a little bit too fast. I didn't think she was going to have what she ended up having down this back stretch. She sees it straight away and she just says, I got to get there. Not only is Monroy as a freshman going to hang on and win Masters Gold, she's also got a new state leading time of 54-16. The future very bright for Samara Monroy and we're excited to see what she does in Clovis next weekend. We go to the boys 400 and it's going to be Everett Stewart from Long Beach Poly running his butt off. He knows he needs a top six in this event. Stewart, kind of similar to Liam Anderson, a guy who is not happy with the way he finished last season and really dedicated himself in the off season and throughout this year to doing everything he can to put himself in position to be on a podium on the last weekend of the year. Stewart gets out in front to give himself the cushion and you can see on the back stretch, he knows, okay, I'm looking at two guys. That means my chances of finishing in the top six, pretty good. He's gonna end up finishing fourth in 47.95 and Stewart is going to state. So we're gonna go to the sprints, the 100. Jackrabbits with two in this, Sandrea Martin and Queen Oko. They wanna get both of them through and both run a very smart, controlled race. You see the extra kick from Queen. They finish third and fourth. Martin, 11.93, Oko, 12.13. So we go to the boys, 100. And Kenyon Reed, it's been one of the most pleasant surprises of the year for the Jackrabbits. He's going to Kansas State for football, but he's a real track guy now. He is going to state with the sixth and final qualifying spot the time of 10.89 his teammate Anthony Johnson from Long Beach Poly ninth in 10.96. We go to the half mile where we have got a pair of Wilson Bruins, Armando Bryson and Jesus Nickel. You want to talk about the strategy of these races. Watch Armando Bryson absolutely fly out of there. <laughs> The strategy, according to Coach Neil Nelson, was very simple. We wanted him to run the first 400 as fast as he could and then see what happened. So Bryson, way out in front at the midway point. And they're coming for Mondo. <laughs> you see his teammate, Asus Nickel, in that chase pack back there. The goal for the Bruins was for both these guys to finish in the top six and to get both of them out to Clovis, but they knew that was gonna be difficult to do. And you see now the pack running up on Bryson, the question everyone wondering right here if you're a Wilson fan, did he go out too fast? Did he leave enough in the tank to hold this pack off? Is it coming? And you see one guy gets ahead of him, he turns it on. And then look at Nickel creep up so it's going to be Bryson second and Nickel finishes in sixth. They are both going to Clovis. Hell of a race. Great strategy by the Brew Crew. We go to the 300 hurdles. Rachel Glenn just out there cruising. Love watching her make up the stagger early in this race. And you just see she gets way out in front. Running very easy, comfortable, knows there's nobody to either side of her, and she's gonna take this back stretch with confidence and go on to win her second Masters Gold with a time of 41.01. And man, are we excited to see what Rachel Glenn has in store for us up in Fresno next weekend. Little wave for the crowd. We go to the boys 300, Liam Anderson, that jackrabbit, who, as I mentioned, did not make it out of CIF prelims last year. Now he's trying to qualify for state in two different individual events. You can bet we'll see him on the 4x4 in Fresno as well. He's running this race hard. It was not his best start. He's not taking the hurdles cleanly. 
But once he hits the back stretch, he knows he's got the stride. He's working hard. He's hurting. And he's going to pull all the way into fourth place in 38-60. And he is going to state in two individual events. Kicking back into sprint mode, we're in the 200 where Sandrea Martin for the Jackrabbits. She wants to add a big gold star to what has been a great senior year. And sure enough, she's motoring down the back stretch. She's got Deanna Nowling of Calabasas, who's number one in the state, running right next to her. But Martin is going to hold her off and win a Masters Championship. And yeah, the section loves it. Big time stuff for Martin. Get that gold medal at Masters and keep her season going into state. We go to the Boys 200, where it's going to be D'Angelo Chester and Kenyon Reed. You see Chester running a great race. Reed right there with him. Chester's going to finish third and Reed fourth. They're both going to state as well. We go to the 3200. Polly's Will Frankenfeld has had a great senior season between cross country and track. Was the CIF Southern Section Division I cross country champion. Was a podium finisher at state in cross country. Now he's trying to add some springtime hardware to that collection. Number one in the state is Newbury Park's Nico Young, who is way, way, way out in front. But Frankenfeld running a very smart tactical race. He's going to fight his way to state with a fifth place finish, 9.03. Frankenfeld is going to state. So we go to the 4x4s, a great way to end the day. This could end up being the race on the girls' side that decides the team state championship with Polly, Wilson, Roosevelt, Buchanan from the central section, all expected to be in the mix as the top four scoring teams. Kashaya Peters for Polly and Deanna Griffith for Wilson, starting things off as they hand off to Sandrea Martin for Polly and Maya Bryson for the Bruins. Great race here. So you see the Long Beach kids going back and forth with each other. Roosevelt out in front as they hand off to the third runners for Polly. This is going to Samina Haddad. And for the Bruins, it's going to Rachel Glenn. Glenn had the fastest split in the Southern section last week at the CIF Finals. And sure enough, she puts Wilson right back into the mix. But a really gutsy leg from Haddad for Polly, who keeps the Jackrabbits in it as well. She gives it to Kenya Payne. This is some redemption for Payne, the USC signee. Younger sister of Polly All-American, Kimber Payne. She uh, false started in the 300 hurdles last week. And you can tell she came out here with something to prove today. She ran a great anchor leg to bring the Jackrabbits home in second at 344.15. Tyler Nettle is bringing it in for the Bruins. They're going to finish fourth at 345.98. And the Jackrabbits and Bruins are both going to state. Which brings us to our final race of the day. The boys 4x4, literally the top eight teams in the state in this race. Polly with the state leading time coming into it. Wilson really had a chip on their shoulder and wanted to prove something before they hit the buses and go up to Fresno. It's going to be Armando Bryson, who ran such a great 800, leading it off for Wilson, and Everett Stewart leading it off for Polly. Wilson's handing to Jordan Weimer. Polly's handing to the freshman Jalen Knox. And I love this race. I mean, this race, almost from start to finish, <laughs> was about the Long Beach kids going back and forth. That's a very good freshman in Jalen Knox for Polly and a very good senior for Wilson in, in Jordan Weimer. And as they come home, Polly's handing to Octavian Hall. Wilson's handing to Philip Jefferson, who is on this race as an alternate today. Andrew Richards normally runs on this and had the flu today. Some subs in for Polly and Wilson, but that's what they're going to need on Friday in the prelims to keep their big guns fresh for the Saturday finals up in Clovis. They're handing it off to the anchor. That's Seaver Cardoza for Wilson. And for today, for the Jackrabbits, that's going to be Jalen Johnson. 
Would not be surprised to see as many as two new faces running for Polly on Saturday. But look at this as they come home. Cardoza does not want to give up that lead to Upland. And he motors Wilson in in a time of 3.13.86. That's a new state leader. They knock Polly off the top of the leaderboard. The Jackrabbits do end up finishing. Yeah, Bryson was a little bit fired up. Jackrabbits finish in fourth. They're going to state as well. Seven of the 20 running events were won by the Long Beach kids today, and 26 of the 30 entries coming in advanced to state. Hey, here's a sentence we don't say very often. I can't wait to get to Fresno and see what these Long Beach kids are going to do up at the state meet for coverage of that and everything else. Long Beach sports, you got to keep it right here.